closely to a single word you told me. Every time that you approach me, I feel lost. I don't really know the cost to be. I just really want to watch movies. I don't want to tell you that I love you. Cause I think that loneliness would serve us well. It's all real enough to know that you won't understand me. So I say, um, moving here from Maryland, my senior year, um, pretty much my mindset was to, you know, get my work done in school, graduate, don't get into any relationships, care for myself, um, enjoy my life with my dad, stepmom, sister, um, and pretty much just keep going forward from there. Um, I would say leaving Maryland, it was more like, I, I wasn't my own person. I was more on like under control. So moving here, I was still learning my independent, being independent for myself and accountable for all my actions. So uh, it's a, it was a good start, first year. Uh, I would say it was a complete success. Success. Uh, after that first year, pretty much kind of went downhill when I hit college. Um, first thing I wish to tell myself younger is to value who's in front of you, value who's been there for you since day one. Because um, honestly, I lost that value when I was hanging around toxic people. Um, uh, always love yourself before anyone loves you because you're not willing, you're not gonna be willing to give anyone, your, anyone of your significant other, you know, that same satisfaction that they give you. Uh, I was putting myself in toxic situations. I was putting myself in bad positions for not only for myself, but for others. Uh, nine times out of 10, you probably won't see me alone only because like, I, I have like, I don't know what it's called. I don't really look up this type of stuff, but I don't like being alone because I have a state of depression where like I start to overthink. So that comes into self doubt and me putting myself down. It's, and it's like kind of, it brings me to uh, turn up my own thoughts and relationships towards people because it would be, oh, I'm, enjoying them i'm enjoying this like this this is cool i like this too i think it's best if i just stop period nothing, nothing more. so uh, another thing i want to tell my younger self is don't jump into relationships with people that you know are ready for something you can't give because at the end of the day you're going to be the one who like months later or maybe a year later you're gonna wish they you had them and overall like you're gonna do the best you can in the moment but after that moment's over you're gonna wish you did better um, there's a lot of things that I wish I could have done to prevent my relationship from ending but um, you know, life hits you different ways. Reality hits you different ways. It's always unexpected. And sometimes you can't prepare yourself for it. So I would say just be ready. Um, my last thing I wanna say is uh, have faith in God. Have faith in those who want you somewhere in life. They don't want you in a position where you can't succeed for um, yourself. Like, I remember there's been a lot of times when my dad just tells me, you know, go get a better job because that job doesn't doesn't necessarily need you. It's just using you just for the time being. You know, and I defended that job so many times and in the end of it, you know, I just got fired or whatever. It wasn't even for me, it was for the best of the company, but you know, you can't really control that. 
we have to move on, uh, look for better things because at the end of the day, you know, someone's going to value value you more than the last person. And it's always about being self-efficient to what you think is right for the business or yourself. Uh, you know how how hard you work, you know how hard you dedicate things toward people. So um, putting yourself in the best position for a business that needs you is definitely something you should have thought about before. Who knows when it come into your life, especially if it's unexpected. Um, Especially if you, you know, was there months before, you should stop because you feel like it was a wrong thing to do and you didn't check up on that person or or those people. And I don't know where something happens and it hits you to a reality check. You know, um, definitely wish I would have told myself to stay faithful in those people because you never know what you might lose. At the end of the day, you never know what new life or old life might go. So having faith, being faithful, having trust, and communication are the keys of just, you know, keeping those closer to you, you know, in that circle that you need to be satisfied, not only for yourself, but for them, because it's not always about yourself. What's your name? Monte Harris. Um, How old are you? I'm 21 years old. What are you doing nowadays? I'm currently a senior at Appalachian State. I am an entrepreneur right now. I have a clothing line now and a design firm pretty much going right now for me. And um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so this whole project is about um, tailor a younger you or an older you advice. Like, you don't talk to your younger self, what would you do different? Talk to your older self, how you stay consistent or continue to develop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what would you say to a younger you or older you? Uh, for a younger me, I'll start off with the younger me, but continue to flow with like pretty much older. Uh, younger me, what I would tell my younger self? I would tell my younger self that you are loved for the most part, uh, that you have to love your, not only that you are loved by other people, but you are loved by yourself. Um, at 18 years old, I struggled with a lot of things and I didn't have no like sense of direction of like where to go. And I was part of a toxic relationship to the point where like, I thought I was in love. And because of me not knowing any better, uh, I felt like I would have been at a little bit better place than I am now. Um, and that I would have been a little bit more focused in different areas and stuff like that. Uh, but that's what I pretty much will tell like my younger self. Older me. Right now, older Monte, 24, 25. I don't know where life will take me. I don't know where God takes me. But what would I tell my older self? that one day, you know, somebody's gonna appreciate you for you. And to continue to do what you do with love and passion, no matter how much sacrifices you gotta make, obviously if it's something you love, you gotta make sacrifices. Um, I would tell my older self that, you know, that continue to learn from your mistakes and continue to grow continue to be pretty much dare to be different. Um, continue to stand out, continue to be optimistic. And no matter how hard it gets, don't ever give up. Um, love will come. Um, you know, right now I'm in a situation where, you know, where I've been past where I'm finding myself rushing into things and I have no business being in situations, situationships relationships or whatever the situation like that. 
um, that love will come. Um, God will send somebody for you and only for you. And that person will appreciate and love everything about you. And that you will continue to be happy with that individual and stuff like that. Um, right now I'm working on self-love, so I'm pretty sure that, you know, at that age I'll be truly, truly in love with myself um, and different stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. God put people in your life, you know, for a reason and it's either a blessing or a lesson. And I know that sounds a little cliche at the moment, truth be told, but you know, it's the truth um, that people come and go and you know, you can't see yourself in other people. Just because, you know, the older Monte or how I am, just because uh, when I love, I love hard. Um, I do things for other people not looking for anything in return. And you know, you just can't expect that from other people because people are just simply not you. You know, you are unique. You know, you're beautiful. You are like handpicked by God to do the things that she done. And that, you know, you just gotta keep going and continue to do things for yourself, for your future, for your kids, for your kids' kids. Continue to break curses and chains in your family. Um, because right now you're on the right path to be successful and the devil is here to still kill and destroy. And, you know, you just gotta listen to God and listen to your inner self, just to your gut feeling when things are not right or you're not supposed to be with that certain person or situation, you know, listen, you know, cause God is trying to lead you to the right path of success. You know, you know your heart, God knows your heart, other people know your heart. Continue to be that good individual to other people and continue to make an impact to a lot of people, a lot of things, you know, just for the better. Um, and, that's pretty much, I think, I think that's it.